I started writing just off the top of my head because I'd seen enough westerns, you know. I hadn't read them, but I'd seen enough westerns. And, I, and there, was, there were the ones that I liked. And uh, so I just started writing them and, gave, and sent them to pulp magazines and they, they were rejected. I thought, well, God, I, I got to do better than that. So I started researching the West and reading Arizona Highways magazine, which was loaded at that time, back in the 50s and 60s, it was loaded with true stories from the West, things that were actually happening, and a lot of Apache Indian stories. They loved Apaches, because Apaches were the main Indians in Arizona. And uh, <clears throat> so I learned a lot about Apaches, and I, I have a book down there I still look at from time to time with uh, facts about the Apaches, the names of the, ma the main guys, and you, Geronimo you've heard of, and, and par perhaps some others. And uh, so once I started using all that, uh, there's a book right here, I think, On the Border with Crook. Crook uh, was, went after Apaches in, in the 18, 1870s, early 1880s. And uh, he's the one who finally got Geronimo to surrender. So this, this was when I finally uh, began looking into the background of all, the, all this that was going on. It became so interesting to me that I started writing the stories with history in mind, not, but not being bogged down by it. Don't get so caught up in the history that, that it becomes boring, you know. But, but there's a flavor of history behind all the stories. And, um, and I, so I sold to the Saturday Evening Post and Argosy and <clears throat> the pulp magazines, and then uh, started writing crime. 